Now in Spatial Factory, in addition to shapefiles, you can also import attribute schemas for your features. Spatial Factory has basic support for three Esri geodatabase types, Esri Personal Geodatabases, Esri File Geodatabases, and S3 SDE Geodatabases. As well as having a Spatial Factory license with the Esri Databases integration module enabled, you will also need to have an ARC desktop license installed on the same machine Spatial Factory is running on. To connect to a geodatabase, select Import from the Spatial Factory toolbar. If the Esri licenses and libraries are installed correctly, you will see the option for .mdb, .sde, or File Geodatabase. Once a geodatabase has been selected, you will be prompted for the Esri feature set you want to import. Now open up the dataset you'd like to work on. Load a section of your run. Double click on an image bubble to enter Pana mode. In this example, the feature we'll be tracking is light posts. Begin by panning over and locating a post. Click on the pencil icon, select points, then tag your feature. In the blue workflow bar above, you can select how to categorize your feature. You can import several feature sets in one session, but in this example, I have only imported one feature set. So Spatial Factory automatically categorizes the feature I tag into that feature set. Once you've tagged your feature, you will see an attribute pane appear on the left side of the screen. Fill in the necessary fields for your feature, such as the date the feature was created, the material, the type of structure, and height. You can measure the height of your light post right in Spatial Factory using the Measure tool. Click on the ruler, then select your first point. Then drag and click to select your second point, and hit Done in the workflow bar above. You will see the measurement appear in the Statistics pane on the left. Now go back and select your point, and the Attribute pane will appear. Fill in the measurement in the box provided. In this feature set, height is measured in centimeters, so remember to convert your measurement if necessary. When you have finished filling the necessary attributes, click on the pencil icon, tag your next feature, and repeat the process. Importing a geodatabase allows you to populate feature attributes in Spatial Factory based on the imported geodatabase feature set schema. A subset of field types are supported, including integer, double, string, and date. When features are created in a geodatabase layer in Spatial Factory, they are given empty attribute fields consistent with the schema to be filled out by the user. Schemas are supported with point, line, and polygon feature types. Geodatabase layers will only allow you to create features that the Esri feature set supports. When you have finished tagging and are ready to save your features back to the Geodatabase, select the Export tool in Spatial Factory, the layer you wish to export, and the appropriate export format. Then click on the workflow bar. You will see the export taskbar in the lower left corner. If you export features which already exist in the geodatabase, they will be updated instead of inserted. If you have exported features to your geodatabase, you can safely delete them from the Spatial Factory workspace.